everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Ryan Squire. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for your likes, for your subscribe, and your like. Noobs, thanks for joining the show. I appreciate it. So, uh, those that are new, I call them noobs because they're newbies, right? So, newbies. Don't mind my dogs barking. It's going through a thing. Anyways, so newbies, you're new, so welcome. Come on in, sit down, relax. It's going to be a good read. Um, reading for cusps. Last one I had was um, Gemini Cancer. So now we're going to do Cancer Virgo. And how quaint is that with the Virgo moon? Mm -hmm. Snow moon. Right. So we had full moon. And it was at its fullest point yesterday, Saturday, 3.17 a.m. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to my channel. Come on in, kick back, relax. We're going to get into some readings here. Like I said, we're doing the cusps. It's going to be Cancer Virgo right now. So, for those that are new, I'm an intuitive reader that I use these tarot cards here to tell you a story. Right? And my story is going to be your story because I'm only telling you this because, uh, you know, that's my service. Right? So, I will pull two cards for the duality of your balance of your energy. And since we're doing cusps, it kind of works out fine because guess what? You, as a cusper, have two signs that you carry personality traits for. And not everybody's a cusper. Right? So it depends on when your birthday is. It falls in line on four days in between the changing of these signs. And so for those that know your exact birth time to do your chart to see if you're a cusper or not, this is for you. I'll do the two cards for the balance of your duality, your yin and your yang, your good and your bad. And for the cusp, right? So we'll catch both signs. And this is a collective reading. So this is a collective reading for everybody on this planet that's a cusper that is a Cancer Virgo. So here we go with your reading. Find out what is in your energy at this very moment. Not for the past, not for the present, future, it's for the present right now, this very moment. Okay. So, here's your energy right. I'm like getting buck wild. Woo! Here's your energy right now. Cancer Virgo cusps under the full moon still. Tonight's the last night. Here's your energy right now. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. So, this is like somebody either presenting a cup of love, somebody making a love offer, or you are wanting to make a love offer. So, let's get into this more and find out. Right. Page of Cups. See all the blue... That's love. Cups are emotions, right? So this is an emotional messages or pages. So they send messages and they present, right? So this is what's going on in your energy now. So here comes the other half. Balance it out. Page. Wow. Wands. Two pages right now. That's you, Pants Virgos. So not only is this message about love, but it's passionate. Wands are about spirit, mojo, passion, drive. Pages, like I just said. So we're going to get into the story now here and find out to whom this may be. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Three of Pentacles. No, that's five. Five of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. So, the glare sucks in here because it looked like three instead of five. Okay. So, anyways. Five of Pentacles. Out in the cold. Feeling left out. Feeling left behind. Um, but five signifies change. Pentacles is your stability. It's your earthly realm. So, it's your job. It's your finances. It's your car. It's your house. So this could be signifying that either you're left out in the cold 
meaning you're not getting any offers of your messages that you're putting out for love, or that there's a change in this, you know, lack of stability feeling, right? You're feeling left out in the cold, you're feeling left behind, you got no shoes on, like begging, right? So this is kind of where you're at. But you're on fire with this passion and messages you put out. So like I said, you're probably not getting any responses back, right? So here comes the second card. And it's a juggling act for you because the two of pentacles means it's a ba it's a balance, it's a decision that you have to make because two is about choices. Pentacles again. So this is all about, this is, this is love that you have. But with the pentacles here, we love different things in our lives. It could be a person, place, or thing, right? And so when we tell these stories, sometimes it's a little mixed, right? So we get the love, but then we get the pentacle. So then we have to try to intuitively decide what these cards are telling us through the messages that we get. And so this is only looking like there's, there's a job that you love that you're putting out your resumes to that's passionate, fiery, because you, 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 you want to do it hot. But you're feeling left out in the cold because maybe people aren't choosing you. Choose are about choice, juggling, panicles. So maybe you're on a hold status of maybe a resume, a business, that somebody's making a decision. And you feel out in the cold about this because maybe some time has elapsed and you haven't heard anything. Right? Let's keep driving here and let's see, uh, you know, what's next for y'all. Oh, by the way, hit the like button for me. Because the wheel of destiny comes out. So I'm sorry about this, Claire. I'm trying to, you know, I'm getting a new setup. Everything's going to change. So be prepared for that. Karmic wheel cycles change. End of old, beginning of new. And it's so fitting, Cancer Virgo cusps that are in this full moon energy now that the karmic wheel change and new moons typically represent the start of a new cycle there you go there's your clarity full moon changing cycle beginning so now this is saying that a decision will be made something will change the wheel of karma slash destiny will change to a new cycle. So maybe you will hear news about this now. Let's find out. Pow! Here comes the emperor. Wow, strong, dedicated, determined, the boss. So the boss will contact you during this new cycle. That's what I'm feeling. Queen of Wands popped out. Confident. Seductress. Queen. Passionate, right? So now this says that the boss contacts you and this maybe is good news because you're now, you know, the Queen of Wands. You went from the Page of Wands to the Queen of Wands. So now the queen is um, usually, you know, like if you think of a king and a queen, like the king in any suit, the meaning of the king, if you think about it logically, the king makes the orders, tells people what to do for the whole of the community, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean, the kingdom. But usually the queen would manifest the king's demand. To take your care of the execution of these plans is where the queen fits in the queen changes the kids diapers you know feeds the kids gets the you know the nurturing and the motherly part about a queen out and so that's taking actions and so now with this queen of wands in my intuitive sense is that you are now very passionately driven Almost on a seductive kind of level where now this is juicy, right? Because your boss got back to you once this wheel changed because they were in deliberation 
about you. And you feel left out in the cold because of this. Which now that verifies itself because the Queen of Wands is underneath the Five of Pentacles. So you were left out in the cold after this decision that you felt there's in limbo about some shit waiting for this news. The karmic will change. The moon is full. It's coming. The cycle is over for the end. The new one is coming. The emperor is coming to tell you some shit. Because it's all page stuff up here. Messages. You know, information, that kind of shit. And so that puts you in the spirit of the Queen of Wands. To now... Start feeling some discontentment disheartening information you feel sad right you feel empty that cup is empty up here so this could possibly mean that you didn't like what you heard maybe they didn't offer you exactly what you wanted maybe that's why this is that despair that you feel the disgust right maybe you're changing your mind right feeling like it's not going to be enough you won't be emotionally fulfilled what what this boss came out with you know what i mean Emperor. So let's find out what happens next. Well, in that sadness, in the decision of not your karma being affected from yourself, meaning like your boss is in charge of this kind of karma because he's choosing you or not for this job. And so you were pretty much thinking that you were going to have it like 100%. And so sometimes we lose out on things like this, not, not by our, our own means. Because somebody else. And so when somebody else intervenes on your karma, they get it. And because you lost out on what you were supposed to get, and they got the suffering for taking it away from you in a sense, here comes what your gift is. Now a blessing comes. So we remember a couple of videos back, I said, for everything good, there's something bad. So if you lose something, you'll gain something. You gain something, you lose something. That is the fucking way the world works. I'm sorry, the way the universe works. And noobs, I do swear a little bit, just to make it official. I'm saying, but two of, car, two of cups came out. So in this, this contentment, maybe now there is a lover that pops out. So maybe somebody that it is this job. That's your person. Two of cups. But that also could signify not only a relationship and your partner. That can really signify a change in your emotions, okay? I play off these cards in multiple ways. Not only for reading what the tarot really means, but what my intuition means, what the numerology means, the symbolism it means, multiple ways. So because it is a lover's card here, there could be a possible connection at your work. But what I'm really feeling here is because that you have these four cups, so you're in despair, you feel... You know, ah, I'm the best, man. Why can't I get, uh, you know, the best in this offer? And now with this Two of Cups saying is that maybe, maybe you need to consider your emotions and change that idea because this job could be good for you because obviously you're passionate about it. But pages are young, okay? They're young, kind of immature. Um, so maybe the news that you heard wasn't the executive position that you might have been looking for with your ego, but your real side self, the, the light side, is showing your inexperience, no offense, but your inexperience, and so the boss is putting you on that level. And that's probably where I feel this four of cups of discontentment, dissatisfaction, you know, disgusted with the offer. And so, the lover's card is now, for me, today, this choosing of changing your emotions. Choose choices, cups is your emotions. So you need to change your mind about this. Because that is also under the karmic wheel of destiny, fortune, however people want to call it. End of the cycle, beginning of the new. So this is saying, this next card here, will tell you that, boom. If you change your mind with the Two of Cups, you will now let go of this Ten of Swords. So this is the mental afflictions, everything that's in your mind to kind of block yourself, kind of relive old past hurts, memories, traumas, things like that, right? 
this is saying that you need to make this decision on not feeling so discontent on what you thought you were going to get, but instead change your mentality because I see this somehow as being like a, an opportunity to grow. Okay, because like I said, pages are kind of young, immature, inexperienced, kind of like that. And so when you have an emperor who, like the boss, making a decision about you after the karmic wheel changes, well, then your perspective changes from being so clean to being down in the dumps, emotionally unstable, not fulfilled, lack of. And so by changing that emotional mindset, you will, ten of swords, you will, tens are about completion, so you will release your past burdens of feeling maybe rejected, stunted, something with a fact of, uh, Maybe not what you expected. Okay. So then you somehow leave this choice to be let go against your boss. So you're not going to take it against him. You're not going to hold it against him. I think you're going to... You're going to take action to fucking fill your own cup. King of Cups. You're going to do what it's necessary, as a king does, to take action to make yourself emotionally full. King of Cups. That's what happens when you make this choice. You will lose the despair. You will drop these past issues, conflicts. Maybe you were deliberating like a pay salary thing, and he was like, well, I only see you worth this much. Because you wanted this much, but you only experienced this much. Right, so that's why I said, maybe it's good to make this choice in your emotions and feel like, hey, I don't have to like harbor anything on this guy because he might be right. So now I can drop those kind of mental fuckeries that you're doing for yourself. Step into this King of Cups energy, now be emotionally fulfilled because you've got the kind of the job that you want. Maybe not so much of the details or the perks or the salary that you wanted, but you're still, Going to take action to pursue that. And that's justice. So Libra energy, justice, truth. That's the law. That's the law. So you will take this action and move these steps to find the balance. Justice energy. To bring justice to your own emotions. And that's perfect. Once again, because the Justice card is under the fucking Four of Cups, which is under the Two of Pentacles, which is under the original Page of Cups. Meaning, the Justice will become to let you go of these Four of Cups energies, disgust, dissatisfaction, which was the initial reason why you were in this mode, because your boss was juggling, reviewing, interviewing, other people that you felt you should have had it before, maybe that's why you felt left out in the cold with the five of pain. Okay, so that message came in hot. You felt left out in the cold by the choice that was made once this karmic wheel turned about the boss, making you feel that you were the queen of wands, but you were really in despair because you had to change your emotional feelings about leaving the past issues behind to now move forward in your emotions successfully as a king to have justice for yourself emotionally to do this. Accept it and go on. And it's calling you to find balance with the temperance card. So you will find balance. You will find a good way to mix things up in this new kind of situation thank you for the job because there's a lot of pentacles on it even though the two of cups are out here the two of cups normally is the lover's card and would establish a, a, a unity a relationship but this is about money this is about a job this is about your livelihood something that you love like this is a job that you love you you've always kind of wanted you're very um passionate about it right it's your it drives you it's your fire right that's the page you want the queen of wands right 
So change your mind about feeling left out and not having enough because once you drop these kind of past mental afflictions, you will start taking action as the queen, king of cups to take actions for your own emotions, to bring balance and justice to yourself, to mix your emotions and your passions well together as the temperance card to now go within hermit mode and find out where your glitch is, right? little bit of self-healing right you gotta get a you got a little rejected maybe you got knocked down off your pedestal a little bit who knows exactly but the hermit mode is just you're going back in and it's virgo perfect virgo energy virgo fucking moon you're a virgo cusp i cannot because we're gonna do virgo cusp libra next Woo! that's me baby so hermit so you need to go within to Make this change emotionally. Choose to change your emotions about how you feel about feeling left out. Now to release those mental afflictions and complete that. To now take action as the king of cups emotionally to bring emotional balance and justice to yourself. But you need to go within Daniel San to do that. Jedi's just don't become Jedi. They go within, they meditate, they analyze their own self, the whole situation, every ins and outs find the inner light it will always tell you the truth that's god that's the spirit amen okay so now that was your story we're going to get to the last part two cards verdict outcome right now well Shit on me. There you go. Three of cups. Now you're exploring your emotional side. And what you can do after Herman though, because this is really now. Collaborating. Mixing together. Building as one. Teamwork. You're exploring this idea. So now you're looking to create and mix together. So now you're going in. You're accepting the offer. You are going to mix very well. It's going to be abundant with this 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 job, this this um, position. You know, you bring creative ideas to the table. It's very abundant. It's you're very explorative. It's very fruitful. Obviously, look at the fruits on the bottom. Very fruitful, right? And it's overflowing, so it's abundant. So that means you have much to offer to put in with this team this job, this people, this company, to really make it successful and be over abundant. The cups overfloweth. Last card for your energy, babies. Boom! And you know what? Like I said, you're good at your job. You're skilled at what you do. You love it. You have passion. You have fire. This is you building your future with this shit. So see all the time, all the pentacles there? That's a long time where you're going to invest in this. You're going to be dedicated and see him working on that pentacle. That means he's good at that shit. So this is a very great outcome. This is a successful decision that you had to emotionally do for a logical choice. Amen. Cancer Virgo Cusps. That has been your reading. Ah, see my fingernail? Oh, man, I need some work. Well, the snowstorm, you know what I mean? I was on the kind of crap. I had to fix some pipes and stuff, so I wasn't feeling all spiffy. Anyways, a little bit, get ready. So, that has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you tell your friends. I hope you tell the subway guy, the neighbor across the street, the dog walker, whoever. Tell them all about my channel. This is good stuff, right? People need to hear these messages because I got something to say to y'all. So, I thank you for your time, your energy. Be well, be safe, peace and pray. Amen.